five things you need to know about Ethereum and what makes it interesting is number one is its smart contract functionality. Ethereum's most notable feature is its ability to support smart contracts. And I know there's a lot of other smart contract blockchains out there from Polkadot to Cardano to Solana to Avalanche. There's a lot, but they're the first, they're the biggest, and they're the one that's most used. If you are trying to look at the crypto market or if you want to revisit it back again, it's so important to stick to blockchains, crypto projects that have a lot of staying power, have a lot of merit, have survived crashes, have a lot of development that's in it, but not just that, a fluid ecosystem that's part of the blockchain as well, meaning people building and then users actually being part of it. Because at the end of the day, no matter how technologically advanced the blockchain is or the project is, if no one's actually using it, then it doesn't matter. And if you've seen it also over the past few weeks, and you've seen a lot of tokens, coins, and projects melt. And a lot of them, when the market comes back up, they won't be able to go back to all-time highs. Because at the end of the day, when the bull market comes, money will flow to projects that are big that have merit. There will be newer projects that will come along that will be competing for people's capital. And the ones that have crashed and have not rebounded may have a hard time when the bull market comes in. A lot of the altcoins are massively down. They're still down 90 plus percent. Whereas Bitcoin from a high of 69,000 has dropped, but it has recovered. As Ethereum from a high of almost 48, 49,000 has dropped, but also has recovered. It's less than the year before the next halving cycle. We've been down since 2022. We're in the midpoint of 2023. We can't stay down forever. When you're down, the next thing that could possibly do that could happen is you hover, you consolidate for a period of time. But after that, the bull market happens and it becomes a catalyst for different things as well. And a lot of people who faded Bitcoin and crypto, there's a big chance that they start coming back in again. And they're the ones that will continue to add and pile into it. I've talked a lot about Bitcoin over the past videos and I'm a firm believer of what Bitcoin is. I'm a firm believer on what it does. But in this video, I want to talk about Ethereum. And I know there's a lot of smart contract blockchains that are available that can rival also what Ethereum is doing. But Ethereum has the largest builders and one of the biggest ecosystems with a lot of people already who have built real life projects that have also real life users as well that are part of it. At the end of the day, we've seen so many Ethereum killers, but Ethereum is still the second largest crypto in terms of market cap. It has crashed, it has dropped. There's a lot of fear, uncertainty, and doubt that was also placed in it when it went um, from proof of work to proof of stake. However, they're still here. No amount of FUD could put a good project, a good blockchain down. It may correct a bit, but at the end of it all, if it's a good project, it will bounce. Five things you need to know about Ethereum and what makes it interesting is number one is its smart contract functionality. Ethereum's most notable feature is its ability to support smart contracts. And I know there's a lot of other smart contract blockchains out there from Polkadot to Cardano to Solana to Avalanche. There's a lot, but they're the first, they're the biggest, and they're the one that's most used. So smart contracts are self-executing contracts with predefined conditions that automatically execute when those conditions are met. This functionality enables the development of decentralized apps or dApps and facilitates various use cases such as DeFi, NFTs, and supply chain management, and so much more. Uniswap, OpenSea, a large chunk of them are built off Ethereum. Number two is this, um, decentralization and security. Now, there's a big argument also that when they move from proof of work to proof of stake, it's not as decentralized and secure anymore. However, there's a ton of stakers there that help decentralize the network as well, which they're incentivized also to do good, to protect their stake also in the network. Nothing speaks volumes also of you believing in an ecosystem, in a blockchain, by you staking what you have in that particular ecosystem. So Ethereum operates a decentralized network of computers, making it resistant to censorship and control. The one that has the most stake though can have a larger say also. If you'd allow me to rank it, it's not as decentralized and as secure as Bitcoin, because Bitcoin ultimately will be the most secure network that we have out there. But for what it does, please do remember Ethereum is not digital gold. The main merit of people getting into Ethereum is not for them 
to stack it, hold it. A term's main merit is because of its use. In my opinion, even if it's in proof of stake, it's still decentralized, it's still secure. It's not though at the level of where Bitcoin is. Number three is interoperability and standards. Ethereum has established itself as a standard in the blockchain industry, enabling interoperability between different applications and platforms. The Ethereum virtual machine allows developers to build and deploy their own smart contracts and dApps on the Ethereum network, fostering innovation and collaboration. But not just that. For example, you have a MetaMask wallet that's an EVM compatible wallet. That's what EVM does. You could use the same wallet for Ethereum, for Avalanche, for the Binance Smart Chain, and so much more. It allows developers to do a lot of things that are cross-chain because of it being connected to EVM and Ethereum. Number four is this. EIPs or Ethereum Improvement Proposals. The Ethereum community activity contributes to the network's development and improvement to Ethereum Improvement Proposals. This proposal suggests enhancements, upgrades, and new features to the Ethereum protocol, ensuring the adaptability and evolution over time. This inclusive approach allows the network to address scalability issues, improve transaction speed, and introduce new functionalities. And that's what we saw over the past few months. We saw the move to proof of stake. That was EIP. That was an that was an EIP. Then they're gonna introduce sharding also. So there's a lot of things that they're doing that allows Ethereum to be a different version of itself already as time goes by. Number five, and I've said this over and over, Ethereum is a vibrant and active developer community, which contributes to its growth and innovation. Developers are continually building and improving the ecosystem with new tools and protocols. This community fosters collaboration, knowledge sharing, and development of best practices, making Ethereum a dynamic and constantly evolving blockchain. So if you want to know more about it, if you have questions about Ethereum, put it down below. But if you look at it also, I think one of the things that people should realize is when you go to DeFi Llama and you look at total value locked in all chains, Ethereum has the biggest lion's share of all of it. 58.75% of every crypto that has been staked or locked is ethereum and we've noticed it also in the middle of 2022 it somehow dipped as you can see how stable it is up against so many other projects that are out there are trying to compete with what ethereum is actually doing as you can see also tron is next 12.86 bsc is next 7.59 and you have arbitrum polygon optimism avalanche but as you can see in spite of its issues in spite of all of the things that have happened for ethereum it not just only survived the test of time it still has its dominance in the market as a smart contract blockchain so there i don't know when the next bull market will happen but what i do know is we're not going to be down forever we're not going to stay down this long and it's not about guessing when the bull market will happen but it's about taking this time when everyone's scared when everyone does not want to go into crypto to learn to study to build a base because at the end of the day when the bull market happens money will flow into projects that have significance bitcoin is one of them and ethereum is one of them as well so that's it for now marvin germo i hope this video helps you trade well trade strong trade smart see you all again soon and god bless you all